Hi, today I'm going to talk about a very important aspect of growth of your organization, which is how do we leverage the talent that you have in your organization to drive growth. We all understand that in this era of great resignations, the battle for growth is fought in the talent arena and not in the arena of technology or processes or other aspects. Yeah, they are important, but the key is talent. So how do we leverage the talent? How do we get the best out of the talent? How do we get the maximum out of the potential that is existing in the talent? And we all know that the workforce that we have is bubbling with talent, is bubbling with energy. How do we channelize this energy? What we need to understand is that the demography of Indian workplace has changed over a period of time. We have a large proportion of our workforce that is around 70% who are millennials, another 15 or somewhere around 12 to 15% are Gen Z, which means that a large proportion of our workforce come from millennials and Gen Z. And out of this, you would be surprised to know 40% of them are decision makers. But if you look at some of the traditional practices that we have, human resources practices that we have in our organization, they haven't changed much. For example, the performance management. We still do performance appraisals. We still do that for the sake of rating, for the sake of increment, for the sake of giving bonuses and so on and so forth. So ultimately, the key thing that the employee knows which impacts his or her growth in the organization is the performance management process. But what we should understand is that this generation that I'm talking about, these two generations that I'm talking about are not looking for bosses. They are looking for coaches. They are not looking for instructions, but they are looking for expectation setting, clear expectation setting so that they will hold the um, responsibility of driving results. They are not looking for supervision, but they are looking for accountability. Right? They are saying, give me what needs to be done and I will get it done. They are not looking for evaluation, they are looking for constructive feedback which can help them in future rather than evaluation of what they did wrong in the past. So ultimately the concept of control which mostly most management systems have enforced has been shaken and now we are looking at flexibility as the primary driver for leveraging the talent. So given this circumstances, the question we need to ask is how do we manage our talent differently? What should we do differently with our performance appraisal process? And this is where the concept of performance enablement comes in. Performance enablement is about allowing the employee to grow from within, encouraging or providing all the required resources which are needed for the employee so that the employee can deliver the best. And how do we do that? And this is where the concept of performance enablement uh, and the model that was created by two HR professors, uh, Colquitt and Goldberg in 2021 comes into play. So they're talking about essentially creating a growth mindset in, in your organization among the employees. Goals are important. Evaluation is important, but goals should be purpose driven. Evaluation should be on impact and not on the effort that is put in. We need experiential learning opportunities for our employees. We need to look at career development from a perspective of what the employee is looking for from his career, his or her career standpoint, rather than what the organization wants from that employee. We need to create 360 degree feedback mechanisms. We need to create mechanisms through which feedback is given continuously to the employee. We have mechanisms through which uh, there is a conversation that happens both ways. That is feedback is given by the employee to his manager, to his superiors, to the organization as a whole and not always top down. We should find mechanisms to frequently uh, recognize the employees uh, and recognize them for their behavior rather than recognizing them for the results and doing that in uh, uh, you know on an occasion like an annual day or something like that. So the way we handle the resources has to be completely uh, different and we should be looking at a model where we focus more on coaching and feedback towards future development rather than evaluation of the past. So if you understand uh, what I just mentioned right now, 
I'm sure you will be able to reflect and find out what are the set of practices in your organization which are there today currently, which you think has to be shaken, which you think has to be redone. It is uh, difficult. I'm not saying this is an exercise that can be done overnight, but you may have to pick and choose depending on the culture of your organization as to what has to change and how much of that can be changed at one go. If you think about this and have a, a strategy around it, I'm sure you would be able to leverage the talent that you have in your organization and not just that, but your organization will take a growth trajectory uh, which is very different from that of your competition.